Hi Kingdom Kids, it's me, Pastor Angela. Thank you for joining me online. Let's finish our lesson series called Easter Basket. Where's our Easter Basket? Hold on. Here it is. Here's our Easter Basket. So we have the Easter grass and the noisemaker. <laughs> they remind us that Easter teaches us to worship Jesus. The bunny ears teaches us, remind us that Easter teaches us to follow God's plan. The egg, the golden egg, and the things inside. They remind us that Easter teaches us about God's love. Now we have two things left. We have this egg and this um, peeps. <laughs> so let's go. Let's find out what Easter is teaching us about Jesus. Our Bible story today comes from the books of Matthew chapter 28, Mark chapter 16, Luke chapter 24, and John chapters 20 to 21. You can pause this video and read from your Bible or your Bible app or you can keep on watching. Jesus is alive from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Three days after Jesus died, there was an earthquake. An angel appeared and rolled away the stone at the entrance of the tomb. The soldiers guarding the tomb were so frightened they fell unconscious. Mary and other women went to visit Jesus' body but saw the angel instead. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus. He is not here. He is alive. See where his body was. Now go and tell all his friends, Jesus is alive. Last week, we learned about Good Friday, the day that Jesus died. But remember I said, Jesus' story did not end when he died because he resurrected. Big word. It means Jesus is alive. He is alive. So let's look in our Easter basket again. And let's see. My favorite Easter egg of all time is this one. Can you guess what is in this Easter egg? See, this Easter egg reminds me about the tomb of Jesus. See, Jesus died and they put his body in a tomb. You see how it kind of looks like a rock? Yeah. So on the third day, Easter Sunday, the tomb was opened and Jesus was resurrected. So there's a small Jesus inside my Easter egg. And the tomb is empty. And this egg actually says... He lives! <laughs> so I have a small Jesus in my Easter egg. This is why it's my favorite Easter egg ever. <laughs> okay, so, so Jesus was in the tomb on Good Friday. And on Easter Sunday, he was resurrected. He's alive. He walked out of that tomb. And the tomb is empty. <laughs> so that's my favorite Easter egg. And then we also have in our Easter basket... We have these peeps. These are some marshmallow treats. Now, the peeps remind us of the people in God's family because sometimes we call people peeps, you know? <laughs> so when we prayed and asked, for Jesus to be our Lord and our Savior, we become part of God's family, God's people, God's peeps. <laughs> now, Jesus called that being born again. So this peeps is flavored party cake, like a birthday cake, because we have a new life with Jesus. So the peeps help us learn that Easter teaches us about life with Jesus. Now, what kind of life is that? What kind of life do we have with Jesus? Well, 
It is a life full of all the promises of God that we can find in the Bible. There's a lot of them. That's why read your Bibles. <laughs> and it's a life filled with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Do you know what it is? Do you know what the fruit is? It is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It is a life that is blessed. It is also a life that can be hard and it can be full of challenges and painful things, but we are never alone in the tough times. That's the kind of life we have with Jesus. We are never alone because we are God's peeps. We're God's people. We are his family and we live our lives with Jesus. Do you remember our Bible memory verse? Our Bible memory verse says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 I think you can say that all by yourself. Ready? Go! Our eternal life is in heaven, but we live our lives with Jesus now here on earth. How do we live a life with Jesus? Think back about what Easter teaches us. Easter teaches us to worship Jesus, so we live a life that worships Jesus, that follows God's plans, and a life that tells other people about God's love. I have a free Easter book for you. It's called The True Easter Story. You can ask a parent to help you download and print it. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. Then you can connect with us online. On Facebook and on Instagram, we are at HICC Kingdom Kids. Or you can use the hashtag H-I-C-C, Kingdom Kids. Okay, let's pray together. God, thank you for our new life with Jesus. We are so happy and so excited that Jesus is alive. There is so much to celebrate for Easter because Jesus, you are alive and you are with us and you are helping us and you never leave us and you are always um, listening to us, listening to our prayers. And so we thank you, God, for loving us so much that you sent Jesus to save us from darkness and that we can live a life with you, Jesus. We pray that we live this life in a way that uh, worships you. We live a life that follows you, all of your plans, God, and that we live a life that tells other people about your love and about Jesus who can save them from darkness. We ask, Lord God, that you continue healing our world. We believe you're already doing that. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, next Sunday is Easter Sunday. I'm so excited. As you celebrate, remember, Easter teaches us to worship Jesus. Easter teaches us to follow God's plan. Easter teaches us about God's love, that He loves us so much. And Easter teaches us that we have a life with Jesus. I hope you have the most wonderful, blessed week. And I will see you online. God bless.